I want to make it a note that this is the purpose of this is more like a sounding board just to like get your broad aspects of like what you consider safety and stuff like that so it's not like specific to the west campus incident like i'll get into that later but yeah that's completely valid you could like do whatever safety means to you mm -hmm. um for me i mean ever since that uh, west campus incident it means more open communication like bill said and also access to more resources because like where i was i could i could see everything that was happening and like I, I didn't know who to call if, if I felt that my life was in actual danger. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, making sure that students, especially, know what resource resources are available to them and what's going to be the most quick way to get help. Uh, so we talked about proximity um, and like location-wise, campus safety, feeling safe, both on campus and off off campus as well, especially west campus areas. A lot of times, um, a lot of us feel, you know, uncomfortable or just lack a sense of security when walking back to our apartments, whether it be from, um, you know, lack of lighting in these areas or just just a general sense of, you know, un you know, not, not being safe. Um, so, yeah, my thoughts, I also shared this in the group that I was in um, over there. I said, they already increased UTPD last year to have, like, a sector or like a section or a whatever it's called specifically for the drag um, and all that's really done is just further criminalize the unhoused population um, so increasing the funding to police doesn't really do much for student safety um, I think that the eight million dollars should be reallocated to something like EMS like having a branch instead of have like a UT can have a UTPD branch it should have a UT EMS branch. I know there's Longhorn EMS, but that is something that is more like autonomous. It's not really like in institutionalized or like fully resourced or anything like that. I think that's something that should be worthwhile to look into um, and having like a specific UT EMS branch for campus and West Campus and students in Riverside. So that way the response times are quick um, and it's like student centered. Um, and I think also allocating those funds, something we talked about in our group also is like food insecurity. Um, it's something that is really overlooked. It's really hard to focus on other things like safety and everything like that if you're worried about where your next meal will come from. So allocating some funds to having like a food grant um, for students who need it so that way they can focus on other things rather than, you know, where they're gonna get their meals from. So yeah, that's my solution. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Amanda. And I'd like to point out too, and Angelica, correct me if I'm wrong, Longhorn EMS is run by students, right? So to think about that too in more context is that students are taking, you know, a lot of this initiative and drive to make other students, namely marginalized students, feel safer on campus. And that, I think, tells a lot more. Um, is very telling to how safety is very much handled. And it shouldn't be the job of the students to save other students. We, we, we came here to get an education, not have to fight for our lives. Yeah, would anyone else go ahead and like to share their thoughts? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. okay, so one thing that I noticed recently was I was in, I think a bathroom in Garrison Hall, and on the stall door there was like a sign that said, they look like they need help, all kind, call 911. And I felt like that was like not a good thing to be putting out into the space. Uh, just because like I think everyone is pretty hesitant to call 911 point blank period because like it's a big deal. Like calling 911 is kind of a big deal. And then on top of that, like we all know there have been so many instances where 911 has been called to like check up on someone and like make sure everything's okay, and then it's ended up in like a, doing a lot of harm to the person that 911 was called to help. Um, I think we all know that happens like relatively frequently. So another reason that we aren't super enthusiastic about calling 911 when we think someone needs help. So I just wanted to like add on to like the 911 thing. Um, I just feel like when I like think about 911, I don't think about like safety. Like I don't feel like actually safe. I don't like, associate that with like something that's good, and I feel like that's what it's supposed to be. Um, and it just it, it isn't that anymore. Um, and I feel like people are just like, like she was saying, like they don't, they might, their friend might need help. Um, I know like someone might have drank too much and they need to 
call someone to help and like they just don't feel like comfortable um, calling 911. And I feel like especially students need to be, feel comfortable. Um, and so like having something other than police would be good. You know, just more of like a helping hand. Somebody that's like not going to, they're not going to feel scared or nervous or like worried for their own life um, just by trying to get some help. Um, yeah, that was just kind of my comments on it because it's, it's kind of crazy to me to um, want to call somebody that you think is going to like do more harm to you than good.